Look, we have a tremendous amount of evidence and information that's been developed uh, that shows that Meta knowingly has designed its products in a way to maximize its ad revenue by uh, addicting young, young teenagers onto its product. They hid from this committee and all of Congress evidence of the harms that they knew was credible. They are deliberately misleading parents about what's on their platform. They are deliberately misleading parents about the safety of their children online. Meta has been on the receiving end of a lot of criticism for not doing enough to protect kids who might be using its products. A bipartisan group of state attorneys general filed a joint lawsuit last fall saying Facebook's parent company knowingly used addictive features in its apps that have negative impacts on kids' health. Lawmakers who often can't agree on much have come together to demand answers from Meta's leadership on the company's impact on minors. Now Meta is saying it will expand safety measures for children and teens on its social media platforms. The goal? To make it harder for young users to come across sensitive content. The announcement coming three weeks before Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg testifies in the Senate about child safety. The company says it will place restrictive settings on teen and child accounts by preventing users from searching sensitive topics and prompting teens to update their privacy settings. Facebook and Instagram will hide search results for content related to suicide, self-harm, eating disorders and nudity. Teens will still be allowed to make posts on these subjects but won't see it in their feed or on stories, even if it's shared by someone they follow. Meta says it aims to automatically place all teens under the most restrictive content control setting. The changes come after a Meta whistleblower told a Senate panel in November that Meta knew content on its platforms was harmful to young users and that company execs were doing nothing about it. As a parent, I took the work personally and I worked hard to help create a safer environment. By the time I left in 2015, I felt the work was going in the right direction. A few years later, my 14-year-old daughter joined Instagram. She and her friends began having awful experiences, including repeated unwanted sexual advances, harassment. She reported these incidents to the company, and it did nothing. Meta says the new update should be complete in a couple of weeks, just in time for Meta's CEO Mark Zuckerberg's testimony on Capitol Hill.